Can you hear me now? There we go. Hey, you can hear me now. I hate that the microphone does that. I don't know why it does that, but here we are. You ready? <laughs> All right, so yesterday we found out that we are trying to capture the 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo. I have no idea what to do with that. Hello, camera. The camera looks away, it's all like, ignore me. Uh, not yet. Thank you, though. I feel like I missed something. Well, now let me go back. What a strange mechanism to move a boat. notebook paper like some pedestrian.
sure we've got a fork in the road. And I drew my map. Oh no, I'm running out of paper. Yeah, I started on the top, and that was a mistake. Just started, eh, fuck. This is why I needed graph paper, because then I could lay two sheets next to each other, but no. How are you doing tonight, Brid? I know, I know. Okay, I think that's the way out. So, we're going this way. <laughs> you win. Did you did you win, son? Are you winning, son? Okay, it just yeah. Both both paths just loop. Okay. Here's my here's my summary of that whole situation. So, fair enough. So, now that I've I can't leave. Awesome. I am stuck down here. Okay. Well. My many years of D&D. &D. When I was a player, I was the mapper. I can't tell if these hieroglyphics should mean anything to me. I cannot tell if they should mean anything to me at all. Why, why are you doing that green screen? Why? Here, green screen, why do you hate me?
click. Boop. Click. Boop. Click. Boop. Click. You know, I'm assuming, hold on, I'm assuming that on this whole thing that there's nothing. And that might be a mistake. So, hold on. Assuming that's a straightforward. There's nothing on the sides, and Lord knows, Riven taught me better than that. Riven was all like, did you look behind every door? Okay. I mean, it doesn't really seem to help me, but we're gonna take a look just to be sure. Ah, it's a whole lot of blue. Like, I feel like that, I should be able to click on that. You know what I mean? Like, it looks like it's something, but it doesn't seem to be. Fine. Fine game. You win. There was nothing. Bad idea. Made me boop a bunch of extra times. I hope you're happy. Just a third one. Hold on. You just wanted to hear more boops. That's what it is. It's all an elaborate prank, and you just wanted to hear more boops. Well, you're not getting more boops. Are you happy now? Oh. Well, crap. <laughs> Egyptian hieroglyphics for dummies. Okay. So, man, look at the size of that. Holy crap. Uh, a little. It's not, uh, it's not terribly, terribly scary. No, it's like Scooby-Doo levels of scary. How are you doing, Jam? Okay. So it's got a nun smock and a goatee, a big pointy goatee. Big boner, that's a man. Right, I know, right? It's like, you know, apparently. I'm not judging. Yeah, but they have like these, they have like upside down fezzes. to introduce monotheistic worship monotheistic worship oh man okay uh okay so we got a knife and then an eye that's like half awake or he's like given like the eye and then all of a sudden he's like mm.
And a bird. And the bird is like, like a circus act, he's like balancing himself on a ball. I did, I finished it last night. Built the rocket, fired myself into space. Had a had a total of uh, ten billion credits due, I think. Yeah. Turned right around and bought Subnautica two. Ice Road Truckers. Which now, after seeing your your truck today, is definitely Ice Road Truckers. Try to introduce Mafia's worship of the god Atens unsuccessfully into Egypt and began its downfall. Son of Queen T and Amenhotep III changed his name from from Amenhotep IV to still missing a cab. Oh, really? Can you build more than just two, then? I don't know why I'm on this. There we go, that's better. Sorry, I had it on the wrong screen this whole time. Whoops. I think you could just keep... That'd be amazing. I want at least 50 cars. I want... Instead of a sea truck, I want a sea train. And you could be like, gotta catch the sea train. Uh, let's see, caused the name Amen to be chiseled out of all monuments. Even his father's wife was the beautiful Nefertiti. Okay, I know that name. Is that the name? Is that where TDs come from? Okay, now what is going on here? Like, okay, we've got the big old dong, and then, mm, mm. Those, <laughs> clearly. Yeah, we just found a book. It is a uh, full motion video game from the 90s made by Sierra, wife of, uh, mother of six daughters. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can we just take this book with us, please? I would, ugh. Okay. Oh, hey, look, we have like a, uh, we have like a dog and he's got a Triforce. Cleopatra, Lady T, wife of Amenhotep III, mother of Amenhotep IV, was a commoner, married by a pharaoh, Senetheru. First ruler of the 4th dynasty built the Bent Pyramid and the Red Pyramid. Semti, known as Hesphati. 1995. Yeah, that sounds about right. I remember it when I was a teenager. This. Lots of squeezy bulb. This is clearly, this is clearly a shower kit. I'm just saying. Uh, I really need a screen, you know what, I really need a screenshot feature, I'm not gonna lie. Like, all these old games need, need Mist 4's, like, click, take a screenshot. 
Uh, let's see. Semti, known as Hesepti. The image of Amun became king at age nine. Also, if I remember correctly, Tutankhamun was banging his grandma, which is just gross. Okay, so there are two cartouches, which mean Tutankhamun. So, okay, we've got we've got a bird, right? And then it's clearly serving it on a platter. Just scribble. I'm scribbling these down as best I can because these are awful, and I'm not even gonna lie. Like my drawings of these are awful. Yeah, you know, let's try that here. Window, uh, Windows, Shift key, S. Hey! Uh, all screens. Boop. Like I'm Xeroxing the book. the area you want over full screen. Yeah, I'm just going to full screen it because it's faster. It looks like I might actually be able to die in this game. It's one of the first point and click adventures I think I've ever died. I, you have the option of dying in. So the story uh, so far is that uh, your friends lock heard stories about people dying in this museum and then suddenly they were all like hey let's go lock our friend in there and then they taunt you from behind the chains they even hear something and then they're like what are you scared chicken and then he's drawing something nice I, I kind of like his socks though I'm not gonna lie Okay. All right, well, let's go take a look at these then. Yeah. Well, these seem meaningless so far. Like, I don't, they, they don't seem to relate to uh, what I have here. Uh, I will do just that, but I want to switch to this screen first. Let's see. Oh, did it just... And I have a lot of notifications on this that I haven't cleared in for like forever.
You know, it's a good thing I, I did that because uh, it did not actually save those. It just put them on this. I didn't realize it just put them on the... Uh, A clipboard and so every time I was doing one of those it overrode it Yep, good call. Good call, Brid. Sephiroth with butterflies turned out well. That's the wrong... Absolutely the wrong... Technology! Be nice if you could just specify. You probably can, and I just haven't looked it up because, you know, no reason to until now. But it'd be nice if you could just specify, like, a default directory and have it dump those images rather than make you, like, come out every single time and be like, all right, now we take it off the, off the clipboard. How many windows can he have open? Man, Subnautica was so good. In spite of all of its bugs, it was really good. Okay. All right, and I, I'm pretty sure I have one of this dude. Already. Let's see. Yeah, I got the symbol. Okay. All right, I'm leaving you, sir. Enjoy your sleep. So there are these ghosts or demons or something that are on the loose and we're trying to 13 ghosts of Scooby-Doo them. Ah, wrong button again. Sure. I 
I'm gonna I'm gonna save all these uh pictures tonight yeah, before I'm done. I'll save them in a full. Oops, wrong button. So uh we were here and this guy popped out and I kinda wanna listen to that video again and I discovered that you can absolutely do that. Care to refresh your memory? Uh, uh. Oh come on, really? Really? Game. Really? Sure. Never mind, it's there. So. Fifteen long years in this prison. You, get out. Do not meddle in things beyond your understanding. You will pay for your curiosity. You are in grave danger. They are so evil. Only so some of evil. your life essence has been stolen. I was too old, not fast enough. The Ixubi are so evil. It is imperative to find all of essence, because it seems only when they are united with their talismans do they have any power. My plan was to use them on the Iksupi before any more of them escape into the world. I believe they cannot resist the vessels as long as they're with the talismans and you approach directly. This vessel here is of no use to you, however. Its Iksupi is the one who robbed me of my essence. And he has escaped into the world. And they've ruined my museum! I mean, dude, your museum was kind of fucked before this I, I from what little bit I've seen <laughs> so right like I'm glad I saw it after I took all the pictures Not seeing any other way to go here. I can't go back. This game loves its long hallways that lead to a single door. Like. Got this thing. Well, okay, these are different now. What the f? Interesting. I cannot move them at all. But uh, these, these are just these just prevent movement altogether. That moves one, two. No idea what I'm doing. And move them in spite of the. What is the point? These slots must be for collectible items, I'm assuming, some sort, on this thing. This is not a very helpful interface. Can't move that one. 
Oh, unless... Literally no explanation on this puzzle whatsoever. Care to refresh your memory? Go take a look at that last page. <laughs> Unless that suggests the pattern that I need to get them into. Oh, so I can't move it again because that would put it here. It moved free. Oh, and also moves three. Hey, Nauseam, how are you doing tonight? Okay. Enjoy your lurk. Okay. Here. Aha! Okay. The only way is up, baby. I do believe we're in the... Oh, come on. I have to solve that every time I open the elevator? That's just silly. No, I refuse. I have played 7th Guest. I've never beaten 7th Guest. It's on my list. Expedition forms to search for... Atlantis? Bimini, the lost city of Atlantis, may yet be found if Dr. John Poyermo and Sir Hubert T. Windlot have their way. Dr. Poyermo maintains that Bimini Island is the western tip of a much larger continent of Atlantis that once covered the entire area known as the Bermuda Triangle. Previous research has been focused on the west side of the island, where marble columns and an underwater road have been discovered. Sir Hubert T. Windlot, second son of Sir William Windlot, Earl of 
Runcorn is funding the new expedition. Now residing in the United States, Professor Winmont, as he now prefers to be called, has funded many arche archaeological expeditions and will soon be opening a museum to house the artifacts he has collected. The museum seeks to explain not only the mystery of Atlantis, but many other unexplained mysteries, Sir Winmont explained. It looks like you could move it, like, given the thing, the lines around it. Man, I keep hearing that bell, and it's like, Yoki or Taco Bell. September 1980, returning from Africa, I discovered something profoundly disturbing. Someone has been here. Furniture has been tipped over, and the book Egyptian Hieroglyphics Explained, not in its place in the library, but face down here on the office floor. And oddly, one of the pages is torn out. And I feel the presence of... Oh, I'm not sure. I must investigate the second floor. Oh, the puzzles. When mm. I created them, I never stopped to think they would be an obstacle in the event of some... terrible occurrence. The Ixupi! Someone has released them from their vessels! Never has anything been so... A name written in the lift, Merrick. Who is he? One of the missing youngsters here in my museum? If so, are they both here? Can they still be alive? Evil entities attacking from everywhere, robbing me of my life essence. I can't seem to find the right vessel for eating Soupy. Without it, they can't be captured. Without it, I am doomed. <gasps> Okay. Well. Sir Windlenot does it again. Sir Hubert Windlenot has been asked to withdraw his name from the Royal Society. This latest request by the Society was prompted by Windlenot's presentation of a griffin found in a tar pit in Turkey. Sir John S. Brown, president of the Society, made the following statement. Sir Hubert Wendell not as famous, is infamous in the 20th century for his capacity to embrace even the tallest of tales as proof of his own theories. This so-called griffin was fabricated from a pterodactyl, a saber-toothed tiger, and a raptor, all found conveniently in the same pit. He is a charlatan, not an archaeologist, and should not be considered one. You'll remember, dear reader, that our... Only last year, Windlenot funded a major expedition to search for the entrance to a subterranean world and tried to prove that Stonehenge was built by space aliens. This writer admits that Windlenot's theories sound a bit far-fetched, but I, for one, hope he continues his research. Museum groundbreaking held Saturday. Mount Pleasant Mayor Jim, Wil Jim Wilton and the President of the Chamber of Commerce, Bob Taylor, assists Sir Hubert Wendelot in the groundbreaking of Professor Wendelot's museum of the strange and unusual scheduled to open in spring of 1961. That was like five years ago and they never opened. Museum of Broken Dreams. When Sir Hubert Wendelot appeared in Mount Pleasant 11 years ago, he brought a breath of fresh air to this tired college town. After teaching just one semester at the college, he took on the title of professor and announced he would build a museum that would bring the world of one bring that would bring the wonders of the world to our little town. Our hopes soared. Spent new jobs during the construction of the museum and a surge of tourism to boost our economy. Our hopes soon died, however, when the professor announced that only outside contractors would be used to keep the secrets of the museum from being exposed. Then just yesterday, he announced that the museum, which is already five years overdue, would require at least another three years to complete. I, for one, am tired of having my hopes and dreams for a better 
Mount Pleasant dashed on the rocks of Professor Woodenlot's museum. I believe it will never open. That was in 1970. Je Jeffrey P. Wendelot, son of absent Sir Hubert T. Wendelot, and Lady Mary Elizabeth Wendelot will be attending Oxford in the fall. The Wendelots have not only attended Oxford for seven generations, but have been generous benefactors as well. Jeffrey will follow in his grandfather's footsteps, Sir William Wendelot, Earl of Rincorn, and study banking, hoping to work for the family firm upon graduation. Sir Hubert Wendelot. Artifacts sold. The personal possessions of Siegfried Schwartz, who died 23 years ago, were sold yesterday to Sir Hubert Wendelot, who offered and paid an undisclosed amount for the entire collection. Officials said he was interested and never resolved rumors surrounding the mysterious death of Mr. Schwartz. When questioned, the buyer said, I believe this. I believe his de demise is, re is related to pottery vessels that I hope are still included among his possessions. These vessels have reportedly been linked to the deaths of several individuals, each found shriveled and mummified. I am interested in the vessels from an archaeological standpoint. However, however, Sir Wendelot plans to exhibit such vessels in a museum he has founded. That was in 77. Well... No, no, I wasn't done. Hey, we got an artifact, I think. A Wessel, if you will. Is this the boy who's been following me? Circle. Police are baffled by the disappearance of Beth Nelson and Merrick Campbell. A witness reported last seeing the pair leaving together from high school on Friday, which, while police are treating the disappearances disappearance as a runaway, students at the school insist that the pair were not that close. No way would he run off with her. Beth was always following Merrick around, but I think he just put up with her. He wasn't very popular, said cheerleader Stephanie Stiles. Police first became aware of the missing teenagers early Saturday morning. When Merrick's father, John Campbell, reported the disappearance of his son. Recently re relocated from New York City, Mr. Campbell teaches blah blah blah. I know there's been a foul I know there's been about foul play. Merrick would never run away. Okay. That's what I want to see is right there. My dearest Jeffrey, I was deeply gratified to receive your letter. After eight years, I was afraid you would never forgive me. Your letter, however, gave me hope that I might once again be part of your life. You may not be aware of this, but your mother felt it best that I distance myself from you. She was perhaps correct. When I first dreamed of the museum, you were to be... Dreamed of the museum, you were to be a part of it. 20 years have passed and it is still incomplete. I do feel, however, with the Sigfield Schwartz acquisition and an upcoming trip to Zimbabwe, my collection will be complete. Please come view the museum and tell me what you think. Yours is the only opinion I treasure. Yours is the only the one opinion I treasure the most in all the Hmm. Okay. another one. God.
Weird. Okay. These numbers are going to mean something important. Possible basilisk? Those numbers would probably be the ones on the drawer over there. Yep, they sure are. I'd be, yep, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them yet. Stop that game. Okay. Wish I knew what the key did. Well, transforming masks. The Cannibal Society of Quaquitil Indians of the Northwest American coast wore these spectacular transforming masks during the winter initiation ceremonies. These masks represent birds and monsters associated with the man-eating spirit. Huh. There's another one. I 
can I not carry two of them at once? So confused by that. in this case were found in a Mayan ceremonial cave in British Honduras. Jade Skull is one of the largest jade items in the This one I can solve. This one is Care to refresh your memory. This one is the last page of the hieroglyphs book. Okay, so north is a Jesus fish. And then the Roman numeral two. And then like a sunrise with slashes. Okay, got it. South. Like a weather vane. And then two vertical slashes. Uh, an italicized Roman numeral two and a vertical symbol. Okay, what's next? Cause paper, got a spear, foot, and then a really upset uh, jack o' lantern. West is a candle. And then a really upset jack o' lantern. <laughs> okay, so Gotta have the spacing on up.
That one's perfect. It's all four, but. Care to refresh your memory? I guess. That one's. Oh. Beth, meet me upstairs where we found the pots, M. No, don't go up there. Those things are everywhere. Basement power plant. I think it's safe. So, the missing kids were definitely here. Oh, what is this? What is this shit? Oh, God. I don't even know what to do with that yet. We're playing heretic now. Digging this a lot. Holy shit. This song is pretty fucking amazing.
Okay. Skull hand, skull hand, skull. I feel like I can click on that, but I can't seem to get to it again. The world's most elaborate still. Danger, high voltage. What am I missing? How did I get in here? really looks like that move. This really looks like it moves right here. Like, that looks like a button. I swear. But it's not. don't know what I'm supposed to do with any of this crap. I tried looking at this panel thinking it would show me something, and it doesn't. So we've got the Ghostbusters containment unit down here. There we go. Finally, holy crap. Actually, let me see if I can, oh, that won't let me turn.
Oh, I love that they put elevator music in. All right, let's go see what was going up on the second floor, because that's where all the shit was happening, right? Stone axe seems important. Got flux capacitor. Seem like a, oh, oh shit! What do we got going on? Oh my god! Idea is that that has to go there. I'm literally this one has to go. Bullshit game. All the requirements. Oh no, it doesn't. That's just cheap. That one does me. What did... Oh, it didn't...
This is a little trickier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Um, okay, so we got... Middle one gives us a, a an excellent starting point because it has to have these four, right? We know that that's the case so far. Just seeing the one that meets that. Oh no! Here. We go. Hydrate. Thank you. I don't see two blue. This cannot be the correct one. Pinks. Yeah, but I don't see. Oh, we do have two pinks. And it's unique. There's only one of them that has two pinks and blue. So, okay. Got a yellow and a yellow. Of course we do. We have several of them. I have two yellows. Pink. Green. Pink green. Okay. Do we have blue, green, green? We do. Okay, do we have yellow, yellow? We do. Have yellow, pink, blue. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, but. Like, why can I only carry one of them at a time? I don't understand. The idea that I go take one of them to its corresponding... Ixipi? And if so, how do I know which one to take to which Ixipi? That'd be a book somewhere, like... Duder had to leave like 
Guide to Killing Ixipi somewhere. Man has taken it upon himself to penalize his fellow man for every conceivable offense. Well, this is charming. Get the matching lid to a jar, then it will let you carry both around. Well, I haven't found any lids yet that I know of. It'd be nice if I found, like, See, that to me looked like just another jar, I guess? I'm so confused. Man create. Game's got some bomb ass fucking music to it. Jesus. Hey, Mariana, how are you doing tonight? don't have I know I don't have the solution to this one yet let me let me click let me, give me the picture you piece oh there we go
Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause this for just a second, because... Off topic. Brid. As you know, in the upcoming DNF duel, I'm going to be playing Crusader a lot. And so, um, I wanted to take this moment to practice my, my sermon as, as the Crusader of Pain. O Lord, who art online, hallowed be thy frames. Thy combo come, thy mix be done, in lobbies as it is in ranked. Give us this day our daily wins, and forgive us our losses, as we forgive those who rage quit against us. I've been working on that today. I thought you'd get a kick out of it for sure. Crusader, man. I had so much fun with Crusader in the beta. I am so jazzed for DNF Duel to come out. No, oh, I dropped the cap. Why do I have two water bottles going anyway? I don't understand what's happening on my desk right now. Well, I'm finding the Ixipi. Yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be one in there. Why would you show me the toilet unless I could interact with it? I am not going over there. Like, I, I already know. I can hear it. like Simon says, except with skulls. It's a where unicorn or Pegasus. Oh no. Mm. 
I am so lost in this place now. Like I couldn't even try, I couldn't even find my way back to the fl first floor if I wanted to right now. Look, over there. Check it out, dude. Oh, hey, we finally have a picture of what they all look like. Huh? Uh, it says here, fart in a jar. I'm gonna check and see if those are in the flashback Care now. Please tell me they are. Memory? That's address book. Astrology. Cool. So Hubert Wendell not wrote a startling paper. In it, he reported that. It the py that pyramids, similar in size and construction to the Great Pyramids of Egypt, were built in parts of the world by civilizations that had never had contact with each other. The paper was widely respected at first, but later, as he lectured and wrote articles in scientific journals, he claimed that extraterrestrial beings had inspired the construction of these buildings. He went so far as to suggest that the monuments were gigantic stone signs built around the world to signal to gods or extraterrestrial beings. This author neither supports nor denies Winnelot's point of view, but rather reports it as another theory. As lost civilizations are uncovered and ancient writings deciphered, war mysteries ah, come on. are revealed every year, and the theories that explain them multiply. Recently, an increasing number of scientists have at least considered theories similar to Sir Winnelot's. In the past 10 years, 319 books or over a 100, 000, and over 100,000 articles have been written addressing this subject. Some support and some criticize. A society called the Ancient Astronaut Society was formed exclusively to prove the hypothesis that astronauts from another world are the explanation to most of the mysteries of the past. Excuse me. There actually is, uh, there are people that believe that. <laughs> Plato first coined the word mythologia, or the telling of stories. Fictional or historical, myths are a universal creation. They attempt to explain the unexplainable, the world, God monsters man's very existence itself and death locked bullshit okay that's the second head that we found It's not the most clear, but I think the snake head goes on the one with the tripod legs. So, okay. Snake head, let's go find the tripod leg. I've seen the tripod leg. I don't remember. Tripod leg one. One in the weird machine. Oh, not that way. Oh, 
saw another one downstairs. See, it looks like there's one in there. But I don't know how to get to that. Ah, never mind. Okay, so I need a three-digit combination for this one. Uh, wait, hold on. They were, okay, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I know where the solution for this one's at. We're not going in there yet. No. Uh, okay, it seemed that 14 feet, 5 inches was ideal. I've existed. Okay. People were decapitated as they dropped, their heads severed by the rope. The drop in this exhibit, however, is only 10 feet. Damn it, I really thought that that might be it. Why, hello, Gaia. Welcome. How are you doing? Okay, well, let's try... Wait, why was that? One. Okay, it was 120 because it was 10 feet, so 12 inches times. I thought it might be four. I thought it might be 14 times 12 plus five, but it was just. Okay, so I know how to get to this one now. You know, that's a good question. It's very much an uh, it's very much an a U.S. game. Let's see. Okay, I need to just find a picture of the completed jars to find out what tops go with what bottoms. Cause that picture that they show is very grainy. 
Hey Brid, I'm gonna ask you to do me a favor, since you have played this before, and I don't want to get spoiled with anything, can you go out on the internet and find if there is a better picture of what all the completed jars look like? Because I have that grainy picture, but I can't tell, honestly, looking at it very well. So I don't think that's really a spoiler, considering it shows them just can't discern what they're supposed to look like because they're so tiny. Oh, are you kidding me? Grr, that's... Thank you. hurt so bad this one Venetian puzzle found in a tomb in Iran this ancient game was supplied as entertainment during the departed trip to the underworld you can conquer this ancient game while you're still alive if you carefully watch the score 10 points are given for a correct symbol in the proper position and one point is awarded for a correct symbol in the wrong position pull the lever to begin Oh, game, 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 game. Okay. Okay. There's a bunch more symbols. Okay, so I got three in the correct spots. Does it must be the blue ones? Got it.
I had that one right. Oh, it was... God damn it. Okay. I wish it would tell you which ones you got right. That's the worst part. So one of them is a hand, we know that much. Three of them are correct, but not in the right spot, so... So I got one in the right spot, and I got three others correct. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to assume it's the hand that I got in the right spot. That's a big assumption. I'm going to work it this way, though. Okay. I mean, it is. It's, high, it's, it's picture wordle is what it is. Okay, so the hand is not in the bottom row. And I step down one, so I know it has to be the salamander. The salamander has to be in this one. So the salamander is in it for sure, and it's not that one, it's not that one, so... Hand is not here. God, that's a bunch. Okay, so the hand is not here or here. So let's... Salamander here. Let's try the hand. Donkeys. Donkey. Donkey. So 
telling me. Then scorpion, scorpion, scorpion. So the scorpion could be. assume that the hand is right okay and we will test that theory Multiple skulls? The skull is in the middle for sure because it, it bumped up to two. Okay. It's got to be the hand and the skull for sure. And then, uh, let's see. No, I assumed it was the donkey, but I don't know if it is the donkey now. Fuck. This would add three right, and we know we know that the hand was one that was correct. Pick the salamander, what you have it see. It could be the donkey. two are in the right and then I got two more right so but they're not in the right spots That makes no sense to me. 
I want to see what the solution was. Fuck my god. I... I was right about the salamander. Fuck. God damn it. Grr. Okay. Scorpion. So we have three symbols correct there. But none of them are in the right place. Um, have you, Mariana, have you played Wordle? So the idea is, okay, so Brid, it, Brid laid it out. You, so the score at the top after you check it. So like, uh, me. Me, let me bring up an example here. So, like, now I know that there are two letters that are right, okay? So, because this has a score of three, one, two, three, I know that there are three symbols in this that are correct, that are in use, they're just in the wrong spot. And if I get a, if I get a, yeah, if I get a 10, it, it's... Yeah, it's like... It'd be one thing if the solution was set every single time. But it's not. Alright, let's test this. 10. So a hand is in the right spot somewhere. Fuck. And the scorpion is not it. So... The hand is in this spot right here, because it dropped down to two. Okay. So is the skull up here? Uh, no. So is the skull down here? Okay, so we now know that these two are hand and skull. Scorpion did not work, so it's one of these three next. Okay, so that one is definitely in it. Did not mean to click on this one. So it's not there. So then we know that the moth has to be, or I guess, yeah, I guess we'll call it a moth has to be here. We know that the scorpion is not in it. That tells me that it's, no, that one's in it. That one's in it. So it's going to be one of these two. So let's see. Give us, show me donkey. Nope. Okay, so it's this guy. Ah, oh, goddammit. I didn't mean to click on that one. And. Skull. And then. Okay. Okay. We're close. Oops, went past it. Went past it again, grr. Okay. I, there's, salamander would be it, right? Aha! I'm in hell. 
What the actual fuck? Oh. Okay. That one makes no sense that it goes that way. Let me see if I can start this over. Oh, hey, Gaia. Uh, I don't know if you saw my... Uh, my message on... I want to show you the... So there's the there's the approved emote that we came up with. But like I realize now it's too zoomed out. Like that's the biggest issue. Not that the it's not that the pink fades in. It does. But like it's it's too zoomed out. Like if give a better example. Like all the all the like best ones that I'm seeing out there that like a good facial expression are like Shoulder height up. Uh, I'll just. I'm just gonna spam some emotes just to. They're all like here up at best, you know. Now we're going to, we're kind of like, now I realize we're kind of going in a different direction anyway. But 
just for I guess that's like an example for like uh the Makona emotes. Does that make sense? I think so, yeah. I think, what do, chat, what do you all think of me using Makona as a mascot for the channel? I think I like it. The more I thought about it, the more I, I liked it. <laughs> and then I can get Makona sound clips. Man, just imagine. Just imagine the beauty of these things merged together. Cause I'm pretty sure Makona was a drinker in the shows that he's that he's been in. Like it makes no sense that, that flips one to the right. Like uh No sense whatsoever. Yeah, well, in our in my sip emote, he's gonna be chugging a, a mug of beer, just because that's what I tend to drink when I'm playing. Okay. Fuck. This puzzle's gonna piss me off. I can tell you right now. This is like rage and rage inducing. This, this one, I have no understanding of the logic behind it. Okay, let's start writing some of this. Okay. Uh, get nine. So left, sit over. And right. So left here. Right. One, one to the left. String. the right left and if my two okay so now
left. This puzzle makes zero sense. Okay. Like, I'm, 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 my brain's fried on that. If you can read this, you're too close. LOL. Okay. I mean, I understand what the goal is. The goal is clearly to match the marbles with the appropriate colored. Spots.
I need to get the purple one here to launch it in the right spot, but I don't know. Welcome back. Okay. Maybe my brain is tired, but officially consulting this one. Yeah, I totally looked it up, but that one was that one was really just for the one bit earlier. I do appreciate that. Okay, so the serpent head has like a diamond shape to it. Okay. 
<laughs> this one has what a square shape. No. Got a oh, it's got a five. Whatever this is, I don't even know. What it's supposed to be. I'm not a fan of this, of this particular, yeah. The music in other parts of this game is absolutely banger. The clown, the clown room can go. I just came from there. I gotta remember where I put the stupid bull head. There's a puzzle there I don't have a solution for yet.
don't even know what I'm supposed to do with that thing. Grr. It's triangular, of course. Okay, now that I understand what the goal is, I feel like I'm making some solid progress. I know we're like... Six? I know where two heads and like three or four jars are. And then once I have all the jars, I get to walk around and be all like, suck it, ghost. And until then, I need to not like, accidentally run into any more ghosts and... Ah, god damn it. Ghost. Bow, bow. I am certain there's a ghost in there. Yeah, sure is. Oh, the water. Okay, because, wait, wait, wait. So, the first ghost that we saw was in the water. And we know... There's water there, so I'll bet you there's a possibility that, that ghost could show up in the toilet. That's why it showed us that. Okay. Fine game. Fine, I see what you're putting down. Now. If only I fucking understood how to get back to the beginning. first one that I saw was the wooden thing in the in the crate and then those sticks turned into the same tree spirit thing okay so that's a wood spirit Fuck. how do I fucking get back to the goddamn god I hate being lost. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I, I hate not understanding how to navigate this place. I'm not saying I hate the game. I'm just venting.
What the fuck? Really? I can't do four diagonal on this one. It's got five slots, asshole. Like, what? I have to get that one out of the freaking rotation first. I'm sorry, but once I solve that damn thing, I should have to solve it again. Very annoying. Eric, go back. Jeffrey. Wait, so the sun was here too? Thanks, Dad, for building such a shit museum. ghost. No, I didn't click on it. I didn't click on it. I don't understand. There's nothing in there, game. Oh, well, this is where the book came from. Okay.
that is... God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Wait, Remy Malik was in Night of the Museum? Really? I guess even the even good actors have to start with shitty roles somewhere, huh? That's right. Just be smirched. Oh, you know what? I had no idea. Um, open, asshole. Hey, we're finally back to this room. Okay. God damn it. They're all different. Ugh. I don't have a single head for any of the bottoms that I have found yet. There's, I don't have, as usual, there's two tops and five bottoms and none of them match. None of them want each other. venturing into spoiler territory there, ma'am. <laughs> There's also a skull key here that I have desperately been needing. Please tell me that's it. Care to refresh your memory? Tell me that that's it. No, of course not. Why? Oh, museum brochure. Never mind. Right now. Yeah, there's a fucking ghost right there. Curse of Anubis, a wretched soul who disturbs this eternal rest may exist in despair for all eternity. Anubis, chief deity to whom prayers at an Egyptian burial are made, was the originator of embalming and funerary rites and used to invoke the curse of the tomb you're about to enter. Ooh, hey, sweet, we just got cursed. Wait, did I, or did I not see something? Hold on. Yeah, there's like a bone land. Oh, hey. Oh, 
What the fuck's the point of that? God damn it. Blue Man Group providing the soundtrack for this. Oh shit, okay. Uh, here we go. Wait, I know how to do this. Okay, so. That's supposed to be Tutankhamun, right? Okay, finally, the Book of, e of Hieroglyphs comes in useful. Ah, oh, that's a trick. Can be useful in other places? Okay, Tutankhamun. Not that simple, I don't think. It could, in theory, be those two. Finally, have a completed thing. But I don't know what this. An alligator. To go find the alligator, I guess. Oh, fuck me. What is even happening here? Oh, I get it. After you after you're done, you put them on put them in their pedestals. And then, you know, you have Simpsons characters all over the walls. Ooh, hey, look. Oh, I don't know what that one's doing. Oh, balls. Okay. Okay, I see how you are, game. Try to be nice. Why we can't have nice things.
Oh, it was easier than I thought it was gonna be, okay. there I thought this was gonna be far more complex than I thought death comes uneasily to the mind of Okay, that's where the fire spirit's gonna be, and I'm not fucking around with him. Right now, I don't know. Okay, we are in the... Uh, so... Care to refresh your memory? Flashback, museum brochure. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty... Yeah, I'm honestly pretty fucked in this playthrough. This is how much life I have left. No, this is the Viking funeral. Okay. Uh, okay, Viking funeral. Okay. Care to refresh your Yes, memory? obviously I clicked on it. Shut up. Sorry, I have no chill. I'm sorry. Viking barrel should be purple. Okay. <laughs> There's going to be a ghost there. Fucking with you yet, I can't deal with you yet. Oh Jesus Christ, Atris has been here. Okay. Um July tenth, nineteen eighty, New York City. I since I am moving tomorrow, I've decided to record my thoughts in this journal. Oh, it is Atris. Holy shit, get away. I will miss the view of the museum from my apartment window, but Dad says he needs a less stressful job. July 15th, 1980. Mount Pleasant, while I am not exactly excited about this small town, it does have its advantages over NYC. The air is very clean, so my telescope will work great. And it's quiet. For Dad's sake, I will try to think of more. July 30th, 1980. Mount Pleasant. This town has a really awesome museum. Professor Wendell... Uh, Wendell Knott's Museum of the Strange and Unusual. The sign says it is opening soon. Can't wait! August 8th, 1980. About Pleasant. Dad says the museum will never open. I don't believe it. 
Uh, he says Professor Winlot once taught at the same college Dad is teaching in, but now he is some kind of eccentric. August 20th, 1980. Mount Pleasant. Not looking forward to school next week. I finally saw the professor. He looks really cool, just like he, like he just got off an archaeology dig. August 29th, 1980. Mount Pleasant. School is bad. It is as bad as I thought. Everyone here is a bunch of hicks. There's this girl, Beth, who's kind of cute and says she knows Professor Windelot. I'm not sure I believe her. Dad says he's a recluse recluse, and not likely to go to know a high school girl. September 7th, 1980. Mount Pleasant turns out, turns out that Beth really doesn't know the professor, just a lot about him. She says he has some secret way to get into the museum, but nobody has figured it out yet. I followed him home from the post office yesterday and saw him go into the museum. She was right. He didn't go into the front door. He went into a gazebo and did something that made a little bridge come up. Then crossed the bridge and went into the ground. Cool. September 13th, Mount Pleasant. Dad said I had to get a summer job. A, a job. Bummer. <laughs> he said kids... Jesus Christ. Like, did... This is clearly made in the 90s with the... I don't even think kids in the 80s used bummer, though, did they? Like, that was kind of a 90s word. Anyway... He said kids in a small in small towns get in trouble without jobs, so I'm working at the bookstore. Good news, I followed the professor again, and I figured out the layout of the museum grounds. I think I could figure out how to get in. Beth has given me all sorts of advice. Excuse me. <sighs> Beth's given me all sorts of advice. I think she likes me. She keeps hanging around. It's hard to follow someone else when you are being followed yourself. September 16th, crossed out 17th, 1980. Mount Pleasant, Beth keeps hanging around. I hate it when Dad thinks she's my girlfriend. Invites her over for dinner. This job has turned out to be okay after all. I finally met the professor face to face. He came into the bookstore to see if we had a book on some African tribe. He seemed to recognize me. I asked him lots of questions. He was pretty cool, but secretive. He kept staring at me. He did say he was going to Africa tomorrow. With him gone, I'm going to try and get into the museum. I have most of it figured out. Blank, blank. Should I get rid of Beth or take her with me? She is hard to get rid of. September 26th, 1980. Mount Pleasant. Tonight's the night. Dad is attending some kind of lecture. I told him we are going to a movie in case he comes home early. We means I've decided to take Beth with me. She might come in handy. She is smart and she has a rope ladder we can use to get over the wall. She says she uses it to sneak out at night. Here's the schedule. 7 p.m. Leave house. 7.45. Climb over wall. 8.10. Race stone step bridge. 8.25. Enter Stonehenge. 8.30 to 10.30. Explore museum. 11.15. Home. 11.30 p.m. Dad comes home. September 26, 1980. The museum. This is a very odd museum. There are a lot of rooms we can't even get into. And puzzles everywhere. We found this one exhibit that had some ancient pots. There's a warning outside not to disturb them. But Beth said she didn't believe the side. It opened one of... Oh, shit. And opened one of them anyway. There was a pretty cool noise, and it felt like cold wind coming out of the pot. <sighs> I always have those kinds of experiences with pot. Uh, I thought I saw green electrical charges coming out of it, but Beth said it probably was from the negatively charged ions or something. I helped her open the rest. It was pretty neat. Fucking A. Something horrible happening. God damn it, Beth! Something horrible happening. Grotesque things coming from everywhere. Can't find Beth. We got separated. There are so many secret passages. Uh, she could be anywhere. What are those things? Beth is dead. Found her body in the basement. Those pots, they're not like... And this turned into reefer madness really quick. It starts all it all starts with pot and then people die. Um those pots, they're not in exhibit anymore. They keep I keep fighting them all over the museum. I think I have to find them and use them on those creatures. If only I could find a way out. All the doors are locked. Maybe they won't find me here. That was a pretty sweet jacket, if I do say.
That clearly opens. This is a puzzle, god damn it. Uh, be sure to check out my SoundCloud. Use ladder on scaffolding. Fucker, god damn it, why not? Clearly the footprints go over here. I know, I see it, I don't know how to open it. Can't click a button. No button seemingly to click. another beer, but I've only got an hour left before I get to bed. <laughs> Speaking of which, I need to take my melatonin so I can fall asleep tonight. I've been having some problems unwinding real quick after the streams. Usually that wasn't an issue, but I get at the streams as I've been doing them more, they get me like hyped up. And I need to be able to fall asleep so I can get up for work tomorrow. So melatonin is the key. Now, okay, Brid, I, I do have a question. I have this jar completed. Does that mean I can go pick up another bottom? So, well, I mean, I'd be picking up a top, but, um, or is this the only jar I can have on me right now? I find whatever spirit is supposed to go in there. I'm dead. We're gonna... Fuck. Uh, I w this game wouldn't be so bad. It's not that it's bad. That's not the right, the right verbiage. It's different from most point-and-click adventure games in that you can actually die. And so you have a finite resource that is your life bar. <laughs> and I don't know that you can get your life Select bar back. Select the name from the museum guest book. You know, like... I don't know that you can get the life bar back. Yeah, I know. 
Okay, game. <laughs> and so if you don't get the right ghost for example into the right jar like i'm not i'm not sure how yep, i'm dead see i was really got this jar and i don't know which ghost goes in it Right? <laughs> Look at the stupid fireplace. Place over there. Oh, there we go. I have to solve this every time. Okay, I was like, really? That would be some horse shit. don't know what to do with this puzzle at all. Second floor. You know what? I don't think I saw this room before. There will be no peace for you. If there was like a mod that just removed the life bar, I think this would be way cooler. In all seriousness. They would give you the time to just kind of run through the game, solve all the puzzles, understand the lore, finish it, and move on, right? But they decided to make it so it has death in it. Which, okay, that's fine. It's definitely a design choice. But, in the same respect, it... It punishes exploration if you happen upon a ghost. Because there's nothing I can do to stop them from hurting. Select a name from the museum guest book. Atris, what have you been writing? God damn it, stop clicking there.
right? Like, barely put it there. Putting you there for the moment. I have not. I wasn't even aware they'd made a video game out of it. The candles. There's a ghost in the candles right now. All right. The following manuscript is translated from stone tablets. Original. Blah, 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 blah. Give me pictures, please. God damn it. Okay. Drive to move. Um, Thirty-two years. Priests of the monk prayed and offered up sacrifices for several days, but uh, so the Ixipi are they allowed Zababa, guardian of the portal to the underworld, to unleash the snake god's children. The snake god's children called Ixipi were evil spirit creatures who hated the people of Zapana for their beautiful skin and uh, healthy bodies. At night, they crept into the people's beds, slowly sucking the ka out of their sleeping bodies, leaving each one a shriveled corpse. Well, that's nice, but I need to know. Okay. Great Sphinx. Hey, this is the solution to the alien puzzle. Symbol for fire. Hey, these are the symbols. Symbol for crystals, symbol for reeds. I mean, I think it's beatable. I just basically would need to start over and understand because like I didn't understand that if I click on the things that are making sounds I'm gonna get bit I also didn't see a way to make multiple save files like that would have been a, that would have been another way to mitigate the problem Okay. Well, this tells me how to beat them. Well, 
care to I'm, I'm assuming all of those got put in. Okay. So, it's good that it puts the stuff that is basically the solutions in here. That's pretty useful. I feel like I need to start this over, but I'm not going to do that tonight. If I do start it over, I'm going to. But, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the stream here for tonight. I am actually going to raid Author Blues. Who is currently working on the Talos Principle. So if you wouldn't mind sticking around for that, I would greatly appreciate it. Sorry. Good music. Uh, that's not the right use. I'm gone. Thanks, Brit. I will be back. Let's see. Tonight is Wednesday. I'll be back tomorrow night for sure with uh, more of uh, shivers. I'm going to start over from the beginning tomorrow night and see if I can't do this the right way where I'm not getting punched in the face every five seconds by a ghost. Um... Hope to see you all then. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you have a great night. Later.